hi, yes, hello, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. So if you haven't read the title or seen the thumbnail, we are continuing on in the 2020 series, Ratchet. Now, uh, why did I pick this? It's my birthday month and I wanted to finish it because I never have and I love Sarah Paulson and I feel like y'all give me the strength to watch scary things. So that's how we're here. That's how we got here. This is my pick. No one influenced me. I'm excited about it. So in the first two episodes, what did we establish? Costuming, excellent. Sarah Paulson, beautiful. Edmund Tullison, cray cray. Mildred Ratchet, sister to Edmund Tullison. All right, she also kind of cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs because she has already killed two people. Well, uh, diabetic coma or heart or what? Like a blood pressure coma? One guy who was a priest like her brother did, and then killed, well, set the other guy up to kill himself, all right? We got some some women-loving women undertones happening, and Sarah's not about it, or sorry, Mildred's not about it. Um, Mildred's trying to get her brother back in, like, trying to get her brother, Edmund Tullison, the guy who murdered four priests, well, three of them, um, back to being treated like a normal person in the prison. So now he is officially able to shower like a normal guy. Something tells me he ain't gonna be normal. Uh, Dr. Hanover has called him out on acting schizophrenic and that's not the case. And so I don't know where we go from here. Also, Nurse Bucket is awful and I kind of hope she gets throughout this series, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm excited about it, I hope you are too. Regardless, you clicked, so no more diddle dally. Let's get right on into episodes three and four of the 2020 series, Ratchet. this house Whoa! <laughs> maximalism to the max hey girl I hope I'm not disturbing you not at all she has a monkey okay I do love the color of those blue vases over there dr. handover yeah what do you want with him he must have falsified his credentials with the American Hospital Association. Who is he really then? Oh, he dazzled us too. Insipid with nonsense. What? With what? I can't believe I allowed him to do what he did. Do I want to know? I probably don't. Look at, is that classy? Doing a little cigarette with the tweezers? What does that do? I mean, holds it, but for what purpose? The 10,000 we agreed on is more than generous. Oh, so he's like, um, not a hitman, but like a, you know, y'all know what I'm, you know, private investigator. There it is. He's brilliant, charismatic, but he's insane and he doesn't know it. Mm, I think he knows it. And that's why he does the. <gasps> well, I gotta say for a quarter million dollars, I'm confident I can make that happen. I could probably do the same, honestly. And in 1947, that's a crazy amount of money. I want you to decapitate him. That is oddly specific. I want you to bring it to me. Oh, she big crazy. But of course you know that. How are you gonna take a man's cigarette like that? Gift for his 21st birthday. Um. Mother, is that you? Oh, look at that coat, beautiful. And what do we have tonight? Oysters, Rockefeller. More oysters in this show? Buff bourguignon. I don't know what that means. Sweetbreads. Oh, hey, buddy. Mm. Nummy num? Mm -hmm. Nummy num. So I'm guessing some of Dr. Handover's medical experiments were done on that kid. <laughs> You know what, by the time this series is over, I would like to go into a deep dive idea of what I think this intro is about because there is the red string theory, clearly. Flawless. OMG, 
OMG, is Nurse Bucket gonna flirt a little bit? Better than lilies of the valley to announce that spring has finally sprung. Oh, that's kind of a... F oh. I'm going to get a cluster headache. I'll remove them at once. Hey, you tried. It was a good idea. Them engaging in an act of lesbian fornication. Ugh. The audacity. When they had tremendous results with a sort of hot and cold treatment. Hot and cold treatment? I will soak the sodomy right out of them. You, if you kissed his ass anymore, your tongue would be in his rectum. What are you doing? Reading. Praying the gay away. Homosexual is what Walt Whitman was. Oh, I didn't know that about Walt Whitman. New equipment. How am I supposed to administer treatment when I don't even know what it is? Well, this isn't good conversation to be having with the patient right there. I love that tile on the walls, though. Nurse Ratchet and Huck are gonna help you into this nice warm bath. Warm? Scalding hot. And that will be the last question I answer from you. What a bitch. That looks very hot. It's a balmy 99 degrees. What? It's actually quite nice. Oh, okay, okay, I was worried. And relax, Mrs. Cartwright. I don't have claustrophobia, but I'm kind of freaking out for her. 119 degrees? Like, she's gonna have burns all over her body. Oh, Nurse Ratchet, you gonna get in trouble. Let me do it again. See, it's already working. No! It will soothe your nervous impulses. What about this is soothing? Oh, sorry. 117, it actually is too hot. Two degrees, two degrees, you ass. Oh. And with a face like that, you wouldn't get a job down at the five and dime. You what an awful person. I was going to say, like, do you pass out eventually from shock or something? She's got to be covered in burns. Jesus Christ, it's boiling. Yeah, I was going to say, how you get her out? Oh, no, that's going to hurt like a bitch. Five minutes. Five minutes, and then this will all be over. Until your next treatment, I guess. We are so lucky to be alive during modern medicine. No patient is ever going to go through that treatment again. Good for you, Huck. Stand up for what's right. Where else are you going to find a job, Huck? Mildred! Places like this are maybe where we belong. We? Interesting that you added yourself in there. That foundation is making your pores look enormous. <laughs> <laughs> what's that nurse's name? Ricketts. Well, Ratchet. Ricketts. I gotta lean on Dr. Hanover. Tolson's gotta be frying in the electric chair by the convention. Oh, I see, I see. That's like his last um, um, campaign promise. Killing four Catholic priests. Three? One survived? Understood. Or maybe I've miscounted. Maybe it was four and one survived. There were five. I just watched the episodes that I don't remember. Dr. Hanover is busy and Nurse Bucket asked me to do it. This is suspicious. If you get too close, he'll strangle you. Exciting. Girl. Maybe you'll write the next great American novel. A bitch for what reason? I see you've started wearing heels, Dr. Hanover. <laughs> I have your mail, Mr. Tolson. I appreciate that very much, ma'am. Oh, he's absolutely gonna, gonna do something to her. Absolutely. I haven't had the pleasure of a beautiful woman's company in a very long time. Oh, yeah, he's going to do something. You have quite the striking physique yourself, Mr. Tolson. Oh, girl, you go get yourself in trouble! Let me know if there is anything I can do. Mm, and I don't think she's talking about dinner. I don't think she's talking about dinner. Prominent side effect. What is it? Oh, he's talking about his pee-pee. I've had an erection for the past three days. What a crazy thing has happened right now. Well, I, I can't relieve myself for religious reasons. Ah, of course. She's gonna do it? She's gonna do it? Understand. You know that security guard's still there. You know that security guard is still there, right? 
Yeah, yeah, you see this? Is he not suspicious? I want you to come for me. Oh my god, okay. She really did that. She really did that to a patient. Also, why'd you have to take your gum out to give him a hand job? That security guard really was like, I don't see nothing. Pervert. He's the pervert? Hey. Please. Hanover sent Dolly to deliver him his lunch this afternoon, and the guard on duty told me he saw them. Mm -hmm. Say it. Masturbating again. Oh, Mildred's pissed. Pissed. But I don't know who she's mad at. Is she mad at her brother or is she mad at Dolly? Or both. Probably both. Jesus Christ! What? What? Oh, a gun. Yep, that'll do it. Ooh. Wow, there are so many things happening in this show and I love it! Oh! Thank you. I'll he doesn't want to have sex. Time. He doesn't want to have sex. He's trying to get the inside on the... I don't even know what it means. Must be some sort of mistake. Uh, she stood outside your door while you had that weird little thing about playing house with that stranger. God, she's so pretty! Look at her! I want to do my hair like that. Immediately. I didn't expect to see you again. Uh, I guess I was caught a little off guard by your, uh... Whatever the hell that was. When I thought about it, I guess it kind of was fun. Why don't you take off your shirt and tie? Okay, we're getting somewhere this time. Ah. Ah. Girl, what are you thinking about? You were thinking about your sweetheart back home in Kansas. Oh, so she really did serve in the war. Okay, I thought she... Oh my God. 40 caliber rounds tear through your right leg just below the knee. Did she say that and then wink at him? It's excruciating. Oh, ah. Uh, ah, oh no, my leg. I bet you're the best nurse they can find. What a weird thing she's doing right now. And you look up at her, amazed at her steadfastness. How do you still have an erection right now? Oh, 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 the plot thickens. She's fantasizing during sets about a woman. She's having a, she's having a thing. You make sex with her like a stallion. Make sex with her? You mean I fuck you from behind? Yes, that's what I just said. It's doggy style. You fill her up with your manhood. You fill her, you fill her up with your manhood. Let me pour you a drink. I'll uh, have one in my room, thanks. Oh, shit. You were the worst lay of my whole life. And this, this is too fucking weird. Fatigue. So they live together there alone? I can't live like this anymore. Oh, that's exactly what they were doing. And for the last three years, this arrangement has been very helpful for both oh, of us. Oh, I see now. I didn't ask any questions when I walked in on you being pounded by Bob the Butcher. Oh, not Bob the Butcher. But I can't stop thinking about her. Aw. Mm. Same. I also think about Sarah Paulson all the time. If I don't get out of this, I'm going to die. What? Get out of that marriage? If you do this, you risk everything. For both of you. Now I need to take a long hot bath. If you'll excuse me. I had a little stressful evening. Hey, get your wine! Ain't nothing hits like a little bathtub wine. Oh, delicious. You just broke off a perfectly good marriage. For a girl, for a woman who's not even ready to embrace who she is. What I said you needed? Are you worried they're gonna come back? You ask a lot of questions, Bucket. Just to give you an update on the lesbians. <laughs> and Mrs. Cartwright's treatment went swimmingly, if you'll excuse the pun. <laughs> Fantasies and urges and so on and so forth have stopped. Yep, I believe it. She's totally cured. <laughs> Congratulations. What a backstory. Well, she said he wasn't at the funeral, so. The guy that she led to slit his throat. But doctor, you and I have an early dinner scheduled this evening, do we not? 
Oh. Oh, Bucket's jealous. Dinner? Yes, Nurse Bucket. It's a meal. Many people enjoy them. <laughs> Nurse Bucket is... Uh... She's in love with you. True. Once she finally accepts that you don't feel the same way, she will sabotage this whole operation. Wow, Mildred's a, it, it, Mildred is an excellent manipulator. Is she going to take him to the lesbian bar? Can I offer Sir and Madam a drink? Scotch. Oh, no, it's the place they were before they went to the bar. Got it. I committed a crime, too. Yeah, literally for you. I did a very bad thing. We all do bad things. I don't know if we've done what he's done, though. It was just uh, a few years ago now. Oh, am I ready for this story? I don't know. Asked me to treat her son who she believed was deranged. Oh! He had the face of an angel. Yeah. Good looking guy. Seems good enough. He pricked his mother. Ow. Pricked the cook. So he likes to stab people? So I took Henry on as a patient. And you chopped his limbs off? Have you heard of my surgic acid? No. 20 micrograms. But the boy said, You take some too. Oh, so y'all gonna be tripping balls on LSD together. There. 20 micrograms for both of us. He's gonna switch the cups. He's gonna switch the cups. Oh, oh, shit! ask you some questions okay and i would like you to answer as best you can i i don't know how fast lsd hits probably that much probably real fast four thousand micrograms and you were seeing sounds i kept leaving my own body okay okay friends is this how lsd actually works and sewed someone else's arms onto his body what i'm gonna be right back okay don't, don't go anywhere. So y'all were both tripping balls on LSD and he asked you to chop off his limbs and you did just that? And then he returned covered in blood. What the fuck? We are going to put these on me. Whose arms are those? Then I heard him screaming. <laughs> no! behind a heavy bureau uh -uh. and cracked it at the humor. Oh my god! I tried it with the medical equipment I had. You tried to attach the other person's arms! So the gardener's arms onto his. I'm gonna throw up. But I didn't want him to die. I... So why'd you chop off his legs? There was Henry the whole time just... <laughs> Laughing like a crazy dude? And then I ran. Okay, but that doesn't answer the leg thing. She's never going to rest until she finds me. To make sure that she never does. Whoa, Mildred's in on this now? Oh my God, okay, let's talk about it. I'm not well. Um, oh my God, I'm wearing the perfect shirt for this. I am simply unwell. Although I will tell you that these faces were when I watched the volleyball scene in Top Gun. So this is a very different unwell than the one I'm currently experiencing. So I don't know how Mildred's gonna keep him from getting got. Uh, I don't know. Episode four, here we go. Come here, my sweet. I've missed you. Oh, he thinks it's Dolly and it's his sister. I wasn't expecting you. And I wasn't expecting you to be such a dunce. <laughs> Letting her give you the old rub and tug between the bars. Rub and tug. And you won't let me experience the warmth and the touch of a woman. That's your problem? Try and learn to love. Stop making this about love. You just tried to bust a nut. Well, it, you're gonna have to suffice. Ooh, 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 ooh. I will never do that with you again. With you again? This is Hootenlieber Pastis, which- What is that word? To San Diego and you'll be back. I'm leaving Trevor. <gasps> Girl. But this is a miracle. I'm giving you a new life. You're betting on somebody that you don't know anything about. If you don't move out of this doorway, I'm gonna knock your block off. Oh, damn. All right, girl, get into it. A single bed or two? Yes, that's fine. That was an either or question. <laughs> I was gonna say, what? Mrs. Briggs. Yes, I'm alone. But you're married. She is nosy! 
Is this the standard line of questioning all your customers receive? As a matter of fact, it is. Me, if I owned a motel? It's the only motel in town. I left my husband this morning. Oh, jeez. The tea! Stay! You'll get used to it. I don't think you will, girl. He didn't hit you, did he? No. Oh, that's a sweet question to ask. A true, full love. Mm. Boy, that young in a place like this. They say he daydreams, but I mean... Who doesn't? Now what would I daydream about? You could consider masturbation daydreaming. Ooh, gotcha, girl. Do you masturbate, Dolly? You want to know if I masturbate? How often do you climax? <laughs> what the fuck? Of course women have certain erotic needs at times. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Keep going. If I so much as looked at a boy, she'd give me ten lashes and call me a whore. Ugh. Pretty soon I realized that's all men viewed me for, and I liked it. Mm. And then I felt ashamed for liking it. And now you just hang out. Sexual desires. Personally, I find it disgusting. <laughs> but I can arrange for you to have relations with him. What? With Edmund. She's going to help? It is the duty of a nurse to help her patient. What? No bars between us. He'd kill you. Who's to say that he wouldn't kill me? Who's to say he couldn't smack? Dolly is into it. Dolly is a kinky bitch. I need the same exact ham and cheese sandwich while reading a book. Wow, Mildred really be pays attention. We're just gonna drive off the cliff now? Is that our plan? Oh, hell, we gonna do some hanky panky in the psychiatric ward today! Nurse Burkett, Mrs. Cartwright is complaining that she lost her wedding ring. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. What do we do? Nurse Bucket, we found it. Oh. What stirred me in my lunch break? Well, that was close. I don't think I breathed. It's 207. You have five minutes. Five minutes? Are you sure? Yes, take them off. Oh, she big into being dangerous. She? Big into it. Are they actually gonna have sex or is he gonna kill her? I'm so excited either way. Hold on. You know what I meant by that. You know I could grab you by the throat and snap your pretty little neck like a twig. I think she wants that to happen, kinda. What do you wanna do to me? Not that either. What? Then what are you gonna do to her? It's been a long time since I kissed a woman. Is that okay? Huh. Very interesting of a, uh, you know, a murderer to ask consent for a kiss, you know? Not yet, sir. The last couple of days he's become very difficult to track down. Oh! Scared me. Is she listening to herself? Remember, she's an opera singer, so is she listening to herself? This older lady's gonna have to go through the tub treatment? It's time for your treatment. God, what about her blood pressure problems? This is gonna kill her, ain't it? From who you really are. She knows better than you know, girl. There will be no death today. I want that to be my new motto in life. There will be no death today. Now, Bucket, make sure it's 117. You messed up with Mrs. Cartwright. You will soon be a new, better woman. Okay, but can you follow the instructions? Which one of you did this? Oh, cut the whole power to the tub? Wish we could rid this hospital of vermin. Oh. But I do know that I'm glad it happened because this is barbaric. Oh, Huck, you better watch yourself. You're going to get fired. You will be fired. Proud of you, Huck. Good for you for cutting that line. Is she kissing her hand? What was she doing? Leeches? Leeches can serve the same purpose. Oh, she big crazy! In room 10? Just eight? Oh. So, what is it you want? Oh! Especially when it's out of wedlock. 
That whole thing was disgusting. All of it. What she just said, and then the leech. Whoa, y'all had a little vending machine for cigarettes? That's cool. Imbeciles these days. Settle down and plot your next move. It's literally chess. Calm your titties. On the phone for you. Oh. Now. I thought the monkey was going to hold the cigarette. Every day that I don't have his head, you will lose fifty thousand dollars from your Every day you're gonna lose fifty thousand dollars? That's crazy. <laughs> Mrs. Briggs about to get in something that she got no business being in. Ain't got none. Oh, and she thinks that they're sit. what they I did. Play in my life. And I thought I told you to sit. Ooh. Consider me sad, mother. Why do I get the sense that you know where he might be? I know lots of things. Oh, what? Tell me more. Wildly inaccurate statement about my ability to pleasure. Oh, we love confidence. Who murdered four priests in cold blood would never be worthy of my loyalty. Wow, she is playing everybody. Dr. Hanover must be stopped at any cost. Are you interested in my help? What kind of help? What kind of help? Both helps? Poor baby. What? And then they tell you the morphine won't arrive until morning. What a weird thing she does. Is there anything I can do to make your transition to death more pleasurable? Don't say that, weirdo. That I am the worst lay of your life. Prove me otherwise, Mildred. Ah! I'm not doing well. I'm not doing great. I am simply unwell, actually. You don't want to know, girl. It's real weird in there. You don't want to know. There's a frost on the moon. I love those shoes. The scalloped edges. Very cute. What are you doing? May I come in? No, you may not. Oh, 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 oh. Two women enter a room together and some may get the wrong idea. You wouldn't want that, would you? No. Mm, not with a woman, no. I'm so into this show. I'm so into this show. What? What? Oh. Now she has the green lights. Oh. She's going to the hospital. His office is on the second floor. I'll bring him to you. What is she hoping to happen? What, like... I have so many questions. Can we deal with this tonight? Get Mrs. Cartwright. We deal with this tonight? Get Mrs. Cartwright? How, how do, what do any of these things have to do with fixing the tub? I don't know what Mildred's intentions are with anybody, if I can be honest with you. Who's that guy walking behind you, Huck? Oh, that's Hanover. That's Hanover. Has to be. The amount of two timing that is going on here is wild. Help me lift him. Wow, she promised Hanover to get him in there, and then promised that to. Blah, blah, blah. Boilerplate schizophrenic just got dropped off. Taking him to a treatment before bed. What are, are they gonna boil him alive? We're gonna boil him. And this is why you don't tell a woman if she's a bad lay or not. We might boil you alive. Go back to your office and clean up your mess. Damn. Damn. Bad place to hide evidence in the same room the crime happened. Crime happened. Bad idea. Doctor Hanover. Oh no, she's gonna see the blood in the floor. What's what's the little kid doing up? I just wanted a glass of milk. Nobody just wants a glass of milk. These transitions are baller. Dr. Hanover? Yeah, you're shooting up and you're about to get caught. Why would you touch an unknown red liquid? 
Is it Hank? Is it Hank? Huh, come in. Oh, oh, he's badly burned. Badly, badly, badly burned. Oh, no. Mildred! It's Huck! It's Huck! He's back! Huck is back! Wonderful. Okay, so Huck just drove the block and wandered back. Got it. You said I didn't understand. <gasps> but I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aww, that's so nice! His skin is literally peeling off. Am I gonna throw up? Okay, we got that. That problem gone, but we got this guys who's made it doctor. out of the, the bathtub, and we got this woman. She's gonna hear silence and assume that he's dead. That is disgusting and so scary. That is gross and so scary. Oh yeah, and of course the daydreaming kid is the one that's gonna see this, and so nobody's gonna believe him. Ooh, 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 ooh. What seems to be the problem? A lot of things. And now Miss Briggs is gonna use the blood as like blackmail. Oh my God. If there's anything we need from you, we'll let you know. Yes, sir. Go on. That little kid just saw that. That little kid just saw that. Take into consideration the safety of all of our- What do you mean there was an intruder? You. Ooh. Not only a good idea, it's necessary considering the effect this could have on the governor's- reason. Everything has fallen through. Miss Briggs. We're only looking out for your well-being. Yeah, since you were the intruder. So we just gonna crisp him right up and steal his stuff. But the motel lady, she's gonna wonder where he's at. Motel, no vacancy. There's about to be. <laughs> Ooh, ominous. What would people think of two women sitting in the car? Two women in the same car? <laughs> Sarcasm won't change that. It's worth a shot. The man that God intended him to be was long gone. Whoa. Until we've both had a chance to absorb it. That's one way to say it. And in the meantime, Repress the hell out of it. The life you can have now that you've left your husband. Does she mean it or is this another manipulation tactic? Now, Mildred, you done weaved a very tangled web. You got a lot going on. She's gonna call her? But it sounds like a woman. Ooh. You're available for a Look at that tub! This whole house. I would like to go to there. That's nothing more than a forgotten pile of ash. Oh, shit. Who is this? Mildred Ratchet. Wow, using your real name, okay. You know. Dead. <laughs> Damn. Damn! And you're in luck. A room just became available. That's hilarious! Plot thickens even more. Your wife wanted to be in the arms of another woman so badly she risked her life escaping and was nowhere to be found. That's a good point. That's a good point. Bucket's gonna flip her lid when she gets in. Yep. You're an angel. What you did for those women. Aw. Yes. <laughs> Tell me. Kill me. Oh shit, she's been an angel of mercy for a long time, huh? <laughs> Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, 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 uh. She gonna do it? She gonna kill him? <laughs> so she's been an angel of mercy for some time. Well, let us talk about this and outro for Ratchet episodes three and four in three, two, one. So it turns out, uh, I. <laughs> um, so Mildred Ratchet is just the queen of manipulation. She convinced private investigator that she was going to help him get handover, but she 
told Hanover that she would help him get the private investigator. And so her loyalties really do lie with Hanover because he holds the keys literally and metaphorically to her brother's skeedily deadlin. Here's the thing though. I don't know if they're really brother and sister because she was like, I won't do that with you again. Um, maybe she, she has some kind of mental something going on where she is, she has just decided that's, oh, that goes into the red string theory that they've been connected this whole time. And so like, maybe she has some kind of like, she feels like they're kindred spirits maybe, and they're not really brother and sister. I don't know. Um, is she really coming to terms with being a lesbian or is she using that as a manipulation tactic for Miss Briggs to get into her skin because Miss Briggs is blackmailing Hanover about the blood on the floor and the guy with the, oh my God, it's so many things have happened. And so like now is Mildred going to help Miss What's Her Tits with the son, you know, the woman who hired the private investigator, is she, is Mildred going to help that lady to get the money so her and Edmund can run away? Is that what's happening? I don't know. I'm excited about all of it. I hope you are too. Uh, coming up this Friday, actually, right now, Movie Watch Ashley has no idea what's coming up for the rest of April. That's a lie. That's a lie. That is a lie. I have The Little Mermaid, the new, the new one coming up. I've never seen it before. I know that's out of my uh, usual movie wrecks is like more recent stuff but i really want to watch it april's my birthday month and so i'm picking a movies and y'all just gonna have to get over it i'm just kidding i'm gonna have more classic movies on the way too so i hope you like subscribe stick around remember i'm live on twitch every tuesday and thursday and uh yeah links to social media if you want to be my friend down below in the description box and i will see you here friday bye